Hi friends, welcome, to Mango School channel. If you ever got a victim of a ransomware attack, make sure there are three persons who are the offenders for this, a developer of the ransomware, a distribution partner, and at last but not least the developer of a smart contract. Who has sits on a blockchain, this person create a smart contract, where the ransomware developer puts an offer for him to develop a ransomware, then the distributor accepts this offer, and puts the acceptance on the blockchain. Then the developer of the ransomware, creates a private and public key pair, that will be used for the encryption of the files on the victim's computers. The encryption key will be integrated in the ransomware software, the public key will be stored in the smart contract. While the private key will be stored in secret location by the ransomware developer. Next, the distributor needs to obtain the ransomware software together with the encryption key. The developer of the ransomware, puts the software on any cloud service, and sends an encrypted link to the smart contract. The distributor then can download the software from the cloud location. Now, everything is ready for the ransomware attack. But of course, you still need to pass through the victim's security systems. Therefore, the distributor either uses phishing mails, zero-day exploits or other means to install the ransom software on the victim's computer. There the ransomware software will encrypt files on the system of the victim. After the encryption has been done, there will be a message shown, that the victim should pay the smart contract the ransom. Contrary to other ransomware software, the victim can see the track record of the ransomware developer on the blockchain. Also, the victim gets a decryption guarantee, meaning if the decryption key is not provided, he will get his money back. So the victim is likely to pay the ransom to the smart contract. The money will stay at the smart contract, until everything is resolved. Next step, is that the developer of the ransomware will send the private decryption key to the smart contract. The smart contract will test if the public key and the private key are matched, and will distribute the ransom to all criminal parties involved. Then the victim can download the private key in order to decrypt his files. So, let's compare this scenario to current standard ransomware. Thank you for watching, and good luck for all. If you find what we are presenting, is good for you and other, subscribe, like, and share our videos.